everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I want you to enjoy this sneak peek into my How to Draw Anatomy course, which, by the way, you can go to CreatureArtTeacher.com, and you can get the entire course for just $1. Now, you're going to be watching my video on how to draw hands, but I also cover how to draw all the features of the face, the nose, mouth, ears, eyes, the whole head. I also cover how to draw the torso, how to draw hands, which is what you're going to watch, how to draw legs and feet, toes. Every part of the body, you can learn how to draw. And if you go on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com, once again, you can get the entire course for just $1. So go ahead, enjoy this sneak peek, then go on over to Creature Art Teacher and get the rest. Thanks. Drawing hands. All right. So um, it's interesting to me. Uh, especially with figure drawing, how we are humans, we have, we are figures, we have hands and all that kind of stuff. And yet they're so difficult to draw. They're some of the hardest things to draw and we see them, we observe them, we use them every day. And some of the most difficult parts of the human body are hands. A lot of, I've seen a lot of students um, in portfolios, they'll, they'll turn in beautiful figure drawings and all of a sudden, boop, the hands are missing. They're hidden behind the back or they just don't draw them. A lot of people avoid them. And obviously, when animating or in character design um, or just in straight up figure drawing, you know, the hands are very expressive. They're almost ex as expressive as the face. They really add to the pose of a character and the attitude. And so it's important that you know how to draw them. And uh, yes, they're very complex. There's a lot of complexity going on in there. Um, but there's ways to break it down. There's rhythms to find. There's ways to, to get to where you can draw them fluidly and, and somewhat easily. And so why don't we just go ahead and start in with that, okay? So first of all, let's, um, let's just start with the basic shape of the hand, I, you know, there's some misconceptions. I want to show you some, you know, ways that I think about uh, drawing the hand and, and kind of proportions and that sort of thing when it uh, when I do them. So let's just uh, start right here. Now, one thing I, I always think about: there's two two parts to the hand. Here, here we got the wrist. I'm going to put the wrist right here. Okay, and you'll see that I'm. I'm drawing it fairly straight on one side and then we're going to come up into the thumb. And that's the first thing I think about. The side opposite of the thumb, I usually treat, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm thinking about the drawing from a very basic standpoint, I think about it as kind of a straight. And then here is where we have the thumb come out. All right, so then we end up, the, palm, the shape of the palm, the, the, the hand itself without the fingers, it's not square. Some people draw it square and it's not. You'll run into problems if you do that. It'll look out of proportion. It's a little bit longer than it is wide, okay? And you've got this at the top and that's important for when you attach your fingers, all right? And then you've got this part that comes out into your thumb. So you've got this shape right here for that hand, okay? And then from there, we're gonna come into the thumb which comes in like so. And one thing I, I think about when drawing the thumb and fingers and that sort of thing, from a very basic standpoint, I think about straights and curves, okay? So with the thumb, you know, there's, you can have a lot of complexity with coming into the, and coming into the knuckle and then coming up into the, uh, the thumbnail as it comes in like so, and then that comes in and you, know, you can get into all of that if you want. But the, for, but the basic part, the basic thing I think about when thinking about fingers or thumbs is that you basically have a straight and then you've got curves, okay? And then you can build your details on top of that, straight and curves. So here's that basic shape. I'm thinking about that straight line, this shape right here to the, uh, to the, to the uh, palm or the, you know, the main part of the hand right there. And then this is another thing to think about with your fingers. If you see my hand, this is what we're drawing. If you see my hand, the thing about the fingers is that they, 
my first finger here, my, my pointer finger, was slightly curves in and my pinky slightly curves in. So you get this kind of feel, okay? Remember that. That's one way to get your hands to look right is to remember these curves. Now the pinky curves a little bit more. You know, I made the, the, the pointer finger just a little bit too curvy, but that's okay. All right. And then these come up and mimicking just, you know, mimicking this shape right here. We all know that the, you know, the middle finger is a little bit longer than everything else. It's not really that it's longer. It just attaches at a higher point. Okay. And so we end up with something like that. Okay. Now the other thing too, on most people, the fingers are almost the same length from here to here. It's almost the same length, but a lot of times it tends to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to shave that back just a touch. Okay. Shave that back. So from a very basic standpoint, looking at the back of the hand, looking at this part of the hand, you end up with something that looks like that. Okay. And then in breaking it up, you're going to have right at that peak is that middle finger is the base of that middle finger. Okay. Right there. And then the first finger there. And then we come in here for the ring finger and I'm going to separate out that pinky. So it comes in like so, and I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a sec. So if we want to have this come up, that would be pinky. Let's go to the middle finger. And that middle finger tends to be pretty straight and I'm going to treat it as straight right now, but we'll get into how the fingers are broken up and the knuckles and all of that. And then let's get this first finger. Let's bring it right up to about here and pull that in. I'm going to shave this back. So you can see you get a little bit more of a shape like so. And then your ring, you know, it varies. I mean, if you look at my hand, my, this finger and this finger are almost even. Some people, they are even. It really varies, but basically you get this feel to your fingers, okay? And the best part of drawing hands is if you're struggling, look at your own. So if I erase this back, I'm going to separate out that pinky, you know, something, something like that. I almost did a Spock thing. <laughs> Here's Spock. But, um, you know, I'm doing something, you know, like that. All right. So now we've drawn our fingers in, keeping in mind they mimic this right here. It's just pushed a little bit more. And see how this is basically from here to here, from the pinky. If you really simplified it, it's basically a straight line. All right. Now let's talk about the knuckles. Now, if you come up, not, not quite the, you know, halfway, if you come up a little more than a third, you're going on each finger, you're going to hit your first knuckles. Okay. Right there, right there, right there. Then you come up on each one as your second knuckle. Okay. And I'm going to lighten this up and draw over the top, but this is basically what we're, what we're looking at. Now, if we were to look underneath the skin, you've got a piece right here that wraps around and holds the tendons in right here. And these tendons, you can feel them. You know, these are, these are extenders. They extend the fingers out They're You know, they're attached to muscle in the top of your arm that way, you know, or if you, if you hold your hand here, you can feel the tendons in your wrist going up and down, you know, going back and forth because they're pulling the fingers in like that. And then, you know, those are flexors they are flexing it, you know, bring it in. And then you've got extensors here on the top of your arm that pull and the tendons are on the top of your hand and they pull the fingers out. So you can feel those tendons. And so they come they're underneath this piece right here. If we were to pull the skin back and each one comes in like so, and that's where you can feel the tendons. If you go back and forth on your knuckles, you can feel those those tendons right there and you can, you can move them around and they come in right underneath and attach back here. Now these three attach together 
and then you got the pinky there. Then you've got a couple for the thumb. There's one that's over here and then one back over here on the side. And that attaches in right there. Okay, and then you've got your knuckles right here. All right, so slowly we're getting there to, uh, to you know, drawing a proportionately nice hand. Let's go ahead and push this back a little bit. Now that we've got some basics, now let's go ahead and add the details. So this is how, you know, very often when I'm drawing, uh, if I'm drawing realistic human figures, this is, you know, this is how I'll start. Very, very basic thinking about big shapes. And then I can just come in like so. Let's go along here. We know that there's a little bit of fat along the sides and I'm gonna get very specific later on when we talk about the fingers. And then we've got this meat right here. Now, even though I talked about this being a straight, now we can add little details in there. And so this does come out. There's, a, you know, there's meat right here. That's all muscle to, you know, to, that's what gives you, you know, helps you make a fist, okay? So there's some meat right there. It comes down. And for me, thinking about my own fingers, you know, I'm gonna drop that back a little bit. I've got some wrinkly fingers there. There's a little bit of, it bows out just a touch there. And then we come into the pinky comes around and comes in like so. And you end up with a little bit of a wrinkle. I do anyway, right there. Now the fingernails, it comes in like this, up, up. And for me, my fingernails are a little shorter. So I'm gonna, I actually look at my hands a lot of times when I'm drawing, I'll go, hmm, you know, and, and see what's there. But, you know, if, I, if you look at the end of a finger, and it's, it's funny to me. I mean, so many people will draw fingernails and they'll draw them wrong. And yet you've got your fingernails right on the end of your fingers. Look at them. But they're, you know, they're smaller at the bottom. Come out, out, like so. There's your fingernail shape, basically, okay? So then you got a little, you know, I have a little bit of a dent right in here for my, for that knuckle. I want to come down here. Let's get into the this thumb knuckle right here. This comes in. And here I'm getting, you know, once again, I'm adding the details of, of the skin. A little bit of wrinkle there for me. There. Now, remember I was talking about you can add these de details? Well, let's do that now. So here, you've got the, you know, this part of the knuckle on the thumb coming up. Like so. And it tends to be a little wrinkly right there. And I'm gonna extend this out just a hair Give that thumb a little bit more meat. And that comes in like so. And down into here. Now we'll get into the other side too. We'll talk about the palms and, and how all that shape. I mean, one, one thing about hands is, look, I've got it, you know, it's like almost like a little dish right there. And that's something people forget about. So we'll talk about that. And this comes in. You got a bit of a wrinkle in there where it attaches, okay? Let's come up, bring that up here like so. Let's draw this first finger. So it comes in, it's a little meaty right there. Once again, I'm, I'm thinking about my hands, you know, which is, you know, everyone's hands are basically typical because there's so many different hands, so there's no there's no ideal hand. Some fingers are shorter, some are longer. Women's tend to be more slender and slight. We're gonna bring this down just like so. I'm gonna make that middle finger kind of dominant between the two, as far as where that, that bulge goes, like so. There, and then if you look at the wrinkles 
on your finger, they tend to be, you know, something, you know, shaped like that. And then there's wrinkles in there like so. And once again, getting into that fingernail. Now the pinky fingernail tends to be, you know, more slight. So I'm coming in with a little different shape to that finger right there, that fingernail. Okay. And once again, a little bit of dent there for the knuckle. The, the skin kind of wrinkles back like so. We're going to come up. There we go. A little bit of bulge there because we got those, these fingers are broken up into segments. And I think about those segments when I draw them. And once again, you get that shape here, here, and there and then thinking about that that shape for the uh, the wrinkles in the in the uh, in the digits the knuckles of the finger okay and then we got our last finger coming down and here you see how I'm, I'm adding just a slight bulge you know to the to the meat of the fingers getting in those those wrinkles And then as a last touch, fingernail. Another good thing too, when we get in the foreshortening of the hand and the fingers, those fingernails really come in handy in showing shape. And so relatively quickly, you know, breaking it down, there's a hand. We, we drew that, you know, pretty quick. So if I, if I, uh, let's do this. I'm going to put a little color here. Let's draw over these tendons. Color over these tendons. If I do so, like this, you'll be able to see what we've got here. All right, so there's a hand. And uh, let's do this. Give it a little shadow. You can really define that form. And those tendons and knuckles will add a little bit of shadow a lot of times, right in here. We'll add a little shadow here. I would cast a shadow onto that thumb. So see those curves? I'm thinking about those curves, the round, round, like that. Think about that. Remember those shapes we were talking about underneath, the way we built up these hands, okay? And then as a final little touch, you can come in here, I can come in here and add some highlight areas where it might be a little bit lighter on that hand. And I can em em emphasize through light and shadow where some of the bulges are in the fingers, like so. Some of these knuckles and uh, tendons under the skin. So there. So there we've got a, a very quick hand. Um, just thinking about some of those principles I was talking about. Let's review this real quick. So remember that shape, that straight. Remember we had talked about that straight. Then the wrist comes off. So you've got this feel here. Then we come up for the thumb. And then this comes up and we come in like that. There's your basic, that's where we want to start for our basic shape for the, for the hand and wrist if it's just being held straight up, okay? And then you can attach that thumb, thinking about straights and curves, remember? That thumb's a little wimpy, a little small. And then the index finger, the pointer, and the pinky 
kind of curve in, remember? And then we come up for that basic shape, remember? And then we add our fingers in like so. All right? Okay, so why don't we go ahead and look at the hand from the other side. I want to talk about the palm and what's going on in, in there. So once again, I'm going to draw the same hand. We're going to do the same. Think about it in this, with this, uh, as the same silhouette. Okay, so we'll start out drawing that straight like I was talking about. We'll come in here. Remember, we've got the straight here. We're going to come up for the palm. Here and here. Here's our wrist. There's a straight there. I'm going to get rid of that, simplify it. Okay. This is how we did it before. Remember, we had these shapes. All right. And once again, I'm going to draw that thumb in. Curves straight, basically straight. Okay. And then we're going to draw that hand with the slightly curved fingers coming up like so. Okay. Like that. All right. Now I'm going to knock this back and we're going to draw over the top because now we're thinking about this from the inside. Now, you got this big kind of half moon that comes around, this big curve. We've all got it, you know, we've all, you know, read palms. <laughs> you know, we've all got these, you know, these wrinkles in our hands and there's some basic wrinkles that are kind of the same from person to person, but obviously there's a, you know, there's a lot of variation that can happen within what we've got. But we've all got this piece right here because we've got that, we have the ability Unlike other animals, we have the ability to do this, okay? And so there's always that wrinkle right here, okay? So let's put that in there. Then we'll come up. I'm going to drop that down. Let's come up for that thumb. You notice the thumb is kind of turned away when we're looking. You know, you don't really see that thumbnail. Sometimes the pe people will turn the thumb like that. It's, you really got to turn it. They'll, you know, they'll think that you you're, you see the the uh, the thumbnail, but you don't. You know, it's like this. That comes in. There. And here you tend to have a little wrinkle there, and it mimics the shape of the meat that's in there. Okay, now let's bring this down and get into the shape of the palm. Now you'll notice this part of the palm kind of comes in. I'm curving it in because it curves up. And this is where it connects to the top of the wrist, what we were drawing before when we were looking at the hand from the other side. If we look at it, if, we, if, we, if you cut through and look at a cross section, the hand that's the top of the hand, it'll kind of curve around and you've got this meat here. You got this dish shape and the, and the fingers are all attached. Boom, 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 like so. But you've got this shape right here and the wrist itself where it attaches. Think of it, you know, basically as a roundish rectangle, <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, boom, boom, boom. It's not, it's not that. Okay. It's this, it's kind of flat on, you know, flattish and you've got these sides and then you've got underneath. Okay. That's how I think about it. And then here we've got, a, you know, I think about this bunch of meat here and a bunch of meat in here like so, so that if you look, you know, this is all squishy. This is hard. This is squishy. I always think in terms of rigid and hard areas against soft, squishy areas. It's the same with straights and curves. Okay, fingers. Real quick, if you look at a finger, I've got 
a finger coming up and that's the top of the finger straight top of the finger even though there's a little pliability it'll be kind of rigid underneath squishy right that's where those those flexor muscles are and so that's where I add my curves okay straight and then curves and a fingernail there we go okay think of it like that and so underneath here if we're looking at it straight on we've got all this squishy squishiness uh, squishiness to our palms right in there like so okay Once again, if you're struggling with this, look at your own fingers. And then we're going to attach these fingers just like we did at the top. I'm going to start with the middle finger this time. And remember, it comes up just a little over a third here, 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 here. Okay, for that, those first knuckle breaks. And then at the top, Got something there, 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 there. You know, notice I'm doing it without drawing the fingers in. You can do that too if you want. You know, I like to think about it as a, as a unit sometimes. We'll get into breaking up the fingers and you'll see how we do different things there. But once again, thinking about those subtle bulges in the finger, like so. And that comes in, that comes in like this. Now watch, now here this is basically, if you think about that as basically a straight, and watch what happens when I draw that index finger, the pointer, and see how it's kind of curving, it curves over to one side, that's what I'm trying to emphasize a little bit there, right there, see there? Same thing here, so a little bit of a bulge in the fingers. Between the, between the knuckles, like so. And this will come in right into a crease like that, right into the pinky. And then if you want to draw the pinky in tight, I'm going to pull that in like so. And look at that curve. See that curves around. That's important. That's how you get the, the finger, to, the hands to look right, is to remember those curves. When you draw them straight, they look odd. Okay. So here's a bunch of meat right here. This is all muscle. This is a big dish right here. Once again, look at your hand. This is a whole bunch of meat along in here. Okay. So think about that, that palm as a dish. If I erase that out and redraw that. We've got that kind of feel. So if I were to if I were to add shadow to this, which I'm going to do, and I want to add shadow not just to make it look pretty, but to prove a point. I want to show you something. Because I'm going to go ahead and kind of emphasize that dish feel that I was talking about. We're going to fill this in real quick. Okay. So there's our hand. Now if I add some shadow, I'm going to think about the light coming down from the top, from up here. So I'm going to put this in shadow. That's all going to go into shadow coming around the hand, the bottom of the palm, I should say. I cast a shadow there. Like that. And it'll be some shadow here. Like so. Now one of the things I can I can emphasize this a bit. This is gonna go into shadow. I can have that go into shadow because I want it to feel like it's curving in. 
See what I'm doing there? And some shadow here, here. I might even cast shadow. We're gonna cast shadow there. I just grabbed the wrong brush. There we go, we're gonna cast shadow there and here. Like so. I wanna push this, this feel so you can see that there's this indent right in there. See that? It goes into shadow. Get rid of that. Like that. And if you want to go a little, add a little bit more to it, then what we'll do is I can add a little bit more light along here to really emphasize where that light is hitting. So like maybe this is really catching a lot of light, okay? Thinking about that form. So, so now you can start to see that form that I was talking about. And there, 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 there. Going very quickly, like so. But see how that palm now feels like it's got a little bit of you know, it's, con it's concave, all right? It goes in. Remember that when you're drawing your palms, your hands, there's, a, there's that shape, okay? Okay, so here, uh, here we've got our hand from the back, from the front, and you can, you know, we've talked about their, the, uh, the proportions and how the fingers work and, and the, the meat of the palm. Let's, you know, I wanted to talk about this too. Look at this shape. I wanted to show you the shape of the hand from the side. Very basic shape of the hand is this. You know, if we drew a hand coming up, a little break in the wrist, let's say, like so. Here you'd have the, the hand itself, which is about here. But see how it gets thicker. It's much thicker here than it is here, all right? The hand is thicker here than it is there. And so you've got this, you'll end up with this angle if we're looking at it from the exact side. Like so, got wrinkles there coming in. Going into the uh, forearm. Okay, so see I've got this meat here. We're gonna look at it from this, you know, from my pinky side, you're gonna, we're looking at it like that. And I'm going to put a slight curve to it. Look at that nice, elegant curve that we can get there. And then it almost looks like a duck, a duck head stretched out. You know, here you got, there's a duck. Okay, there's a duck head. Now imagine it really pulled and stretched out. That's kind of, that's kind of what, the, what the hand looks like. Remember that shape, the hand from the side is that wedge. And you drew the, if we drew a pinky in here, we'd come in about there. Okay. And up into the knuckles. Knuckles attached there. Now if we want, remember, straights, straights, and then we're going to get these curves. Straights and curves right into the fingers, like that, okay? There's that wedge. Think of that shape right there, okay? Okay, so now let's take a little bit of what we've learned and put it to some use. Let's get a nice pose to a hand. I wanna do something where, you know, you might have a character that's, you know, doing something like so. And I want to talk about some of the rhythms of the fingers and, and all of that. So let's jump into here again. And let's do a hand that's kind of, you know, up like this. So start with the wrist, the forearm coming in like so. Remember I was talking about this shape right there. You know, you got this rectangular shape. 
I always kind of think of that, even though it's, you know, I'm not indicating that, I kind of think of that, so that as the wrist comes in, the, the, this part of the wrist is coming in, I'm gonna draw the back of the hand, it comes around. Now look, first thing I wanna do is I wanna find that, I wanna find that rhythm. So I've got this coming in like so. Straights and then curves, okay? Even in the palms, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And fingers, they tend to fan, you know? Even though we've got, you know, they curl in like this, but they, they twist and fan. And there, there's, you know, if you look at my hand like so, you can see my pinky curves in a different direction than my, my forefinger does. And everything just kind of, it twists and curves. You know, you get the spiraling kind of feel to how the fingers work, okay? And uh, I'll do some drawing like that and, and explain what I'm talking about. But now as we get into this right here, thinking about this palm, remember this is thicker than here, but it's also, I'm bringing that thumb up a little bit. So I'm gonna have the meat, let me blow this up a little bit so you can see a little better. Here's the meat of that thumb, remember all of this? right here and then this comes up like so remember there's a dish it goes down in right in here okay and then here I'm thinking about that thumb going away from me I'm gonna keep it very basic there like so now this, here's our the meat of the hand coming around like that. And then this kind of bulges up and there's meat right there. So we've got, here's where our fingers are gonna attach. Now here, because this is gonna be the first, our, our index finger on the other side, that's pulling the, the back of the hand, the top of the hand over here like so. So this is gonna be the pinky coming up and around like so. I'm gonna keep the shapes very, very simple. Right now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna define the, the meat of the fingers or anything like that. It comes in like so. There's the pinky and then we can start working into, here's the other knuckles. coming into the ring finger. And you see how I kind of jump ahead? I want to get the proportions. I'll jump ahead to the end of the finger so I can get that proportion right first and then I can build the finger right onto it. And then maybe that middle finger is kind of hidden behind the ring finger and because of the tilt of the hand, it's gonna look like it's about the same length. That comes in, works right into here like so. And actually, I want to, I'm going to simplify this even more so that we've got this. And then now, I like this kind of feel. So I'm just going to have my pointer finger, the index finger, just kind of poking out from behind. So you end up with this kind of feel. And so, see how we've got this, that fan feel to the hand. And the tendons come down like this. Okay, whoops, there we go. So, if we knock this back, you know, I can now come in very quickly, start to define where I want my details. That comes down. This, I, I know I, I've got meat right in here for this palm. A wrinkle here and a wrinkle here that goes up into the into the pinky we'll put that knuckle there and this comes around so I'm thinking about all that that mass 
right there. This comes into a little tendon. If you feel, if you feel you've got a little tendon right there. If you move your, if you move your pinky out, move it around, you can feel that's where your pinky tendon is. And that comes down like so. Thinking about that shape, and then once again, as you, if you run into problems, the best bet you've got, look at your hand. I do it all the time. And then there's that, that meat for that thumb right there. Let's go ahead and define the thumb in here. Comes around. You know, that thumb has a shape like that. You know, the, it's kind of, if we look at it from uh, uh, three quarter, it comes down. And here's the thumbnail. But you got this kind of feel here. And that goes up into the wrinkle of the thumb and then into the other the last part, but the end of the thumb has that kind of feel to it. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of meat there on the finger coming up into the wrinkles. Remember I was talking about those wrinkles and the knuckle. There's a break in the digit there and can define these shapes. See how there's a rhythm. It, it kind of, the fingers have these kind of curvy rhythms to them. That's what I'm trying to define right in here. There, see how it connects? Get a nice little connection right into the hand there. And there'd be a wrinkle there, which goes into the knuckle for that ring finger. So, see that curve, that S shape, very subtle. And then here, and we're going to get that middle finger right there, right up into the knuckle there. And once again, you're getting a little bit of a bulge in there. And that coming down and then we can finish it off with getting that index finger. We even see a little bit of the fingernail coming in like so. So you got this fanning feel to the fingers. Okay. Now looking at this, I feel like, okay, well this feels like it's a little bit These fingers feel like they got a little bit big on me. So, you know, I can come in here like so. There, that feels a little better for me. See there? Because once again, I'm thinking about the length of the palm and the length of the fingers. It just didn't, it wasn't feeling, feeling quite right. So sometimes I'll, I'll mess up, and, but knowing your proportions always helps so that you can tell, you know, so often it's not about seeing what's right. It's about seeing what's wrong with a drawing and then being able to go in and, and fix it. Okay. So there we've got another hand drawn. Okay. So what about foreshortening like this? You can see my fingers are pointing straight at you. That can be really difficult to draw. Um, you know, it's one thing to draw, you know, hands like that, but when you start looking at them like this, that can be really difficult to get them to look right. So let's talk about that because really when you're drawing fingers and hands, it's really just a bunch of overlapping shapes and it's a matter of getting those overlapping shapes to look right and getting those rhythms right that we were talking about when you're looking at hands like this. It's just taking some of that thinking and translating into this. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. So let's say we've got a hand. I'm going to bring it around. Like so, we got to, I'm going to bring the wrist down 
I'm going to draw this very quickly. Okay, so I've got a wrist that's coming out at you like this. Right, so again, if I, if I draw through, remember that there's that, that roundish rectangle, <laughs> that roundish rectangle I was talking about for the wrist. I'm thinking about that and the hand is going to be coming at us. Okay, so thinking about this part of the hand where it connects way back here as being fatter. And then if we drew, if I was drawing it as just a basic shape, then it gets thinner coming forward like so. And then this would come into the meat coming forward. So if you think about this coming forward, okay, I'm thinking about that like so. So the first thing I, I like to do, I like to establish the thumb. For me, it's just, <clears throat> that's just my preference. So I want to get this thumb in here and it's not going to be so foreshortened. So I'm just going to go ahead and thinking about that shape, the shape of the thumb that I was talking about earlier, it's going to come around like so. All right. Now we've got fingers that are coming at us. Now thinking about how those fingers are shaped. Remember I was drawing the straights and the curves. Well, they really are just these segmented, round pieces. Okay. Like so. So if we broke them up and start looking at them coming at us, there's a shape there. There's a shape there. And then the fingernail would be on here. You really want to think about th these, it's these curving, overlapping, curving lines that give you that sense of foreshadow uh, foreshadowing, for foreshortening, okay? You really want to get this, this, that. This, this, this. That's the kind of thing that uh, you got to get in your head, okay? So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get in here and we'll start drawing some of these fingers. So. I know I got the, the pinky finger here. And I'm just going to start with the end of the finger. It comes up and around. And then we got, it comes under the knuckle. Like so. And then there's, I'm going to blow this up even more. There we go. And then there's a little fingernail. All right. So there's a finger coming at us. And then let's draw the ring finger right here. Once again, I'm thinking about that shape coming back into the knuckle, another shape coming down and around like so, and then that big fat part of the finger and here like so. And then this comes back like so. All right. So we're getting over those overlapping shapes. And I'm going to get, I want to get this, I want the, the feel of the finger rhythm to, to kind of come up like that. Okay. So then we're going to break the top here and that's going to break that, you know, the, the, this plane in the back. So the, the ring finger, I'm sorry, the middle finger is coming around like so. And when we, when I do the detail version of this, there's a, uh, I'll, I'll get the details a little better and you'll see what I'm, what I'm doing with the, with the uh, pinky there or the, uh, with the uh, fingernail that comes down and then here, remember I'm doing this, 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 that's what's happening with the fingers coming forward. That's the foreshortening. Okay. And then one more, that finger, that first finger, is pointing forward. So let's bring that around and thinking, you know, looking, thinking like this. So it comes around, it's round. And I know there's a knuckle up there, so I'm doing this. And then this part of the finger comes around. And then the bottom part of the finger comes in here, 
comes around like so, all right? And here we got this coming up, like so. All right, so there's a hand coming at you. I'm thinking these shapes. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but if you take, if you have a finger, shaped like this, you got a knuckle and a knuckle, and then it's connected here. Think of those shapes like that. Think of those shapes coming at you, okay? So as I push this back, let's tie this down. We're kind of looking up at the fingernail, so we're not going to see much of it, but we can see that the, that part of the knuckle comes back, right? And you know, the, the finger has, you know, the end of your finger has a very unique, it's got a little break there. Like it's got that kind of shape. So I'm gonna bring this around. And that's gonna come up. And then there's the bottom meat of the finger. And then the big, you know, the fatter part right in there coming up. All right, so there's our first finger. Let's bring that right into the, this part. That's what we're drawing. That part of the hand. And that's gonna come around. Like so. That comes in like that. Now let's come into here. Now, if you look at your fingers, if you look at them straight on, you know that the fingernail, if you look at it straight on, the fingernail curves around and then the finger bulges out around it. So if we look at it straight on like this, the fingernail comes down and then it kind of bulges, the rest of the finger bulges around it like that. And that's kind of what I'm trying to indicate here. It's very detail-y, but it makes a point. It comes in like so. There we go. And that comes around like that, there. And then we're gonna bring, once again, I'm gonna bring the meat of that finger right under. I'm thinking about those overlapping shapes, overlapping shapes, broken record, overlapping shapes. Okay, bring that around here, here. It comes up and around. That bulges up on top. You know, I, I, I have very bulgy fingers on top. Overlapping shapes. This gets a little confusing there. Let me clean that up. And then here, coming down right there. And then finally, we're get, we get down to the pinky. Here, looking down the pinky. Overlapping shapes, there. Like so, see that? And let's bring that on around, like that. And then here, you might have a little knuckle indication, right there, maybe a little bit there. And then this comes into the hand, which breaks, cuts into, right here, you've got a little bone right there. Let's indicate that. Bring that down. Let's once again get into the, the meat of this part of the hand where the thumb connects. I'm gonna make that thumb a little thicker. Like that, there we go. And right here, nice and meaty. So you got a nice meaty hand right there. And there's that crease that comes around. And it makes that little dish feel in the hand. And we get a nice definition right there. 
So we're getting all these overlapping shapes. That's the, that's the key, overlapping shapes coming in. Maybe a little indication of some tendons right there. So here we've got, you know, just thinking about that, thinking about how shapes overlap, that's how we get, you know, you think about that foreshortening. You know, you can do it with pointing, all that kind of stuff. I mean, there, there's a million different ways we can draw hands. I can go on and on and on. But, you know, think about that, you know, overlapping shape. And a lot of times, like I said, if you're having problems, just kind of look at it and go, oh, I see what's happening. Okay. And once again, if I, I'm going to, Paint that in so we can define some of this so I can define some of this form a little bit better for you so you can see it even more I just want to do this real quick indicate a little bit of light and shadow so here we've got I'm going to make it so that the bottom of the hand is in shadow. It's being lit from the top. So all of this is gonna go into shadow. And it comes up and around and up and around and up and around right there. This is cast, cast a little shadow down here. Maybe that's, this is all in shadow. I always talk my way through. Maybe that's good now that, that convex or concave part of the palm right there goes in so maybe it's a little darker that's casting a shadow let's go a little darker maybe it's a little darker there a little darker there got a little darker in there okay and a little darker there and there. Now, if we just add a little bit of highlight, you'll get you'll get a sense of the form. Much better sense of the form coming around. Oops, like so. Just adding a little bit more light on the hand. There we go. Okay. So there, very quickly, there's that hand pointing at you like that. Thinking about overlapping shapes. Okay. So there we've talked about hands. Um, just very, you know, t talking about, you know, overlap and, and the overlapping shapes for foreshortening, talking about some of the proportions. Um, earlier, before I started this video, I went ahead and did a whole bunch of drawings of different hands and I thought we could go over them. So I'm going to pull these over. And now you can see there's a whole bunch. Keeping in mind some of those, uh, those principles I was talking about, I thought, why don't we knock these back, some of these back, turn that off knock some of these back a little bit and um, and then we can just break them down into some basic shapes all right so once again let's review remember that straight line coming into here and then we've got that curve even though it's subtle here this is more straight see there's a curve there and a straight there and this curves right here all right straight and then those curves the basic shape remember that basic shape of the palm it comes like that if we draw it through okay so you got this 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 and this okay it's kind of a hexagon it's a wonky hexagon but it's got that shape coming into there like that and then this goes into the thumb okay Remember the, how I was talking about the, 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 the proportions of the fingers, the way they're broken up. This comes up, they're kind of thirds, but it, you know, the first knuckle comes up maybe just a little, it's about a third, maybe a little more than a third coming up. And then the, uh, the, the knuckle uh, from the tip of the finger back, that comes back about a third, maybe a little bit less, okay? 
But once again, it varies from, from hand to hand. So you can looking at the back of the hand here, even though I'm talking about straights, you see once it's defined, you can throw in that definition. But that's basically from here to here, that's straight. And look at this, this is another way to look at it. See how that flows right into there and then you attach that thumb? That's another way you can do it. I mean, look at this. See how that goes right in? I don't draw that way. I tend to draw that wrist and then get that, there's that straight, get that palm established as soon as I can, okay? Now this is something I wanted to talk about. Here we got a nice straight going through. Remember I was talking about that fanning, spiraling quality to the hand. Here's a fist. And if we, you know, the fist is just, you know, it, it, that's a really good example of, of the spiraling because you can see the hand kind of come, you get this kind of feel here. And the fingers are curled under right there. And look at that fan feel like that. See how it goes, uh, 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 it's fanning out like so, okay? And there's that meat I was talking about, you know, getting them, making sure you get hard, you know, it's straight on one side, soft and squishy on the other, okay? Here, here's another example of that. Straight, straight, straight. I know they're a little bit curved. I'm talking about the, your basics. It's basically straight with curve, 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 okay? Think about those straights and curve straight, 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 curve, 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 okay? You get those squishy areas, all right? And look at this, fan comes out, all right? Those are the rhythms of the hand. The foreshortening, here we go. Here's a finger coming straight at you, so you're not gonna see a ton of overlap, but thinking about that, that finger, you know, the fingernail comes down, and if we were to draw a line around it, it comes around like that. But there's a shape there. And when I was drawing this, I was, I was actually thinking about those shapes right there. Here's another one. Here's, you know, there, it's not quite as foreshortened, but they're still foreshortened. Here's the, the shape of the palm right here, coming back like so with it attaching there like that. But remember this, there's a curve and there's a curve. Everything curves in, all right? That's really big. You know, here, the, it, that's curving in. And so it, it all spirals, spirals around. See these curves, all right? And once again, thinking about, there's that meat, nice, fat, and then straights, nice and fat, okay? Round shapes. Same thing here, straight, straight, curves, curves. You know, even here, okay? Straight, straight, and then getting curves in there. Here I'm going kind of, kind of straight, and then curves. I want you to think about that, especially when you're drawing a stylized hand, you know, okay? So, and let's jump down to here to some of these foreshortened ones. I wanna review again. Here's that hand coming forward. You know, if we draw the, the shape of the palm there, and there is that shape, that shape, that shape. We're doing this, this, this. Overlap, this shape, this shape, that shape. And here it's not quite as strong of a foreshortening, but it's still there, okay? So think about that. That's how you get your foreshortening, all right? So, those are hands. Like I said, hands can be very difficult, even though we've got them, we look at them every day, we use them more than any other part of our body. They can be very difficult to draw. So hopefully I was able to kind of break some of the fear, some of the, uh, the cloudiness of drawing them. And just once again, just think about that, those basic shapes and some of those fundamentals, some of the curves, the fanning qualities, the straights and curves and the, and the uh, overlapping shapes. Those are key elements to remember when you're drawing your hands. 
Think about proportions. And, and whenever you get into a, a bind and it's not looking right, look at your own hand, okay? We all do it, all right? So let's go ahead and move on.